Hello, this is me, JD Jane Sad, and I'm doing a very quick video about my second PC. This is a Dimension, Dell Dimension 5150, can't quite see it there. This machine is quite dirty, so I'm going to give it a bit of a clean and just show what's inside this machine. It's a Pentium D, which is uh, basically two Pentium 4s, and it's on my main machine. I mostly do VHS capture on it. My face cam when I do, used to do face cam and my voice work mostly, but it's t 2006. It's a little bit old, but it works quite well. So it's a bit dirty. So take the. I'll come to open this side. Hang on a minute. Face it towards the light. <coughs> what have we got? Lighting isn't great in here. Uh, oh, it is quite dusty. This is a eighty a BTX case. I think this is what, that's what this is. So you've got graphics card. That's an ATI. Uh, Two hundred fifty six meg. It's a very it's a budget one. Passively cooled. Can't really see it very well on that. We've got a, a sound card. That's the sound blast. A surround sound. Five point one. I think that is. EAX2 or something, and then we've got the capture card which is there. Got another fan here. This is the one that glows blue. And then we've got the main CPU. This is huge. This is a bloody great thing. And then we just got the DVD rewriter and a hard drive, 256, uh, 250 gig. That's a uh, what is that? A Western Digital blue, I think that is. So that's my old computer there, it needs a bit of a clean because the fans get dirty and then they need to be completely stripped, cleaned and everything, so yes it is very dusty in there. And there's a, about a 2 gig of memory in that DDR2, loads of capacitors there, makes me worry they're going to burst open or something. Let's do D. Right, so what I need to do if I want to clean this, this whole thing here, this is, I'm not sure about modern i-series because that's a different socket, but this machine, these produce a lot of heat, these get very hot, I think it's TDP is about 100, I think the average, I don't know what the numbers are, but the thermal output on modern i-series be about 80 or 75 or something like that, I'm not sure what the numbers are, but they're not as high as the Pentium D's, they're very hard. I think the new, I think there was a 20 core one that has a TDP of about 130. I think that's a very high. They're talking about oil cooling on them, that's crazy. 20 cores, but well, that would get very hot. Probably just have to take the bloody heat sink off to get the fan out, which is bloody annoying. That is, yeah, the modern ones, unless they're the very top end, they don't get as hot as this. That comes back like that. I'm annoyed at that because I don't have any new thermal paste for that. Because I can't see it. There it is. That's the Pentium D. The heat sink comes. It should come off. Should come off. There we are. So that's the that's the CPU. I've got no new thermal paste for that at all. But copper as well. That's nice. I thought that was aluminium. No, it must be the the top of the process is aluminium. I think. Video, Oof, that's a bit dusty there. Right? Just got a lot of coating on it. I'd like to get that clean. I'm just going to use some damp tissue to clean that off. There's a thing. I never know how to work this thing here. How do you get this bloody thing out? You have to press it. Inside the Pentium D. Crazy, huh? Put that on there, got this clip on LED bulb thing. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That isn't too bad, but if the dust is allowed to collect, it can affect the bearings on it. And these are, I don't know where got these from there. Let's fit in there. Let's do that. Let's see that. Right. Right, I've got to get that out. Does it go that way? 
um, I never know how to get these out. Looks like it goes... I no idea how to get this out. That goes in, I think. Capacitors that just burst open everywhere, that was really bad. I mean, the thing down there, like that. Right there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, boy. Yay. Damn, damn, it's the capacitor. Oh, no, hold on a minute. Let me get it out without knackering up the capacitors. So I don't know how to do it. get that out. Oh, oh, this is funny. I don't want to damage that. I don't want that. There's one there and one there. One, two. Okay, there it is. I'm worried about damaging the capacitor. That is a huge fan. That's the size of that one. That's a big fan, that is. This has got some dust on it there. Look at that. Not a huge amount, but enough that it would start to cause the bearings to become. Um, Damaged them really because they start making a lot more noise, they start making a purring noise. You don't want that going on, yes. I, I do like these machines, I mean, they're not that fast, but they're good for doing. Hit my hand drive out. Oh gosh, look at that, that's dusty. That's that was um, when I got this, it was about 35 pounds, that's about 40 45 dollars off eBay, about three years I've had this nearly, and it's, this hard drive is about five years younger than the machine nearly. This fan is very dirty, it's got an LED on it, it's very dirty, you can see that. Right, so, let's do it again, let's do this. It's a bit too near, I don't know. See that? I'm going to take that, it has rubber grommets on it. I had to splice that in to one of these because it's, it's got no internal, it's like all these funny little um, I don't know, probably get the, the dirt off because that's where it's most likely to cause a problem for the this fan here. You can see that. Very bad, isn't it? And it will make a, a lot less noise. If you don't clean the fans ever, they get noisier and noisier, like a plane propeller. So you, it, it does. It's beneficial because it cuts down on a lot of the the noise factor on it. Put that on the edges there, without that dust will still be. On the edges, yeah, that's pretty, pretty grotty. That's pretty dirty. Pretty mucky. I will get, tell you what I will do, I'll get the hoover out and what I'll do is I will hoover the main CPU um, yeah, look at that. the main CPU heatsink because that's going to tend to fur that up as well um, main, 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 main It's the side that strikes the my battery doesn't work for that a little bit. The side that strikes the air is the side that gets all the fluff and muck on it. And of course that's very bad. I'm guessing about where this camera's pointing because the sweat. This camera does not like low light and it's very, oh, I hate this camera, the sound is like a cassette player from the 1970s. The lighting's a bit side and I do apologise, I can get that out of there. Okay. Well that could be clean, but it's, it's, it's getting there. So here's the heatsink of the Pentium D. 
I'm going to use a Hoover or a vacuum cleaner and I'm going to basically go and Hoover that out. So, I'm not probably going to be able to see this very well, but. These are good because they don't generate static electricity. If you use a nylon one, that could be dangerous for circuits, but if you're using a camel brush, or a natural horsehair or whatever, it's cleaning the lenses of a camera, you can get all the dust off. Just generally. There we go. In place. Just gets all that off. This one. Most of that dust is gone. So a little bit more clean on the main fan, and I'm going to put it back together. Okay. 